Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce the Commanding General, Brigadier General Master. Uh, today is a, is a wonderful day as we recognize uh, 32 years of service. Do I have that right? 1982, young 17-year-old lad from New York goes into some recruiting station somewhere. Thank you, sir. Ma'am, thank you for, for all that you've done for our nation uh, and on behalf of everybody here. Attention to orders. Certificate of retirement from the Armed Forces of the United States of America to all who shall see these present greetings. This is to certify that Colonel James A. Laterza, having served faithfully and honorably, is retired from the United States Army on the 31st day of October 2017. Signed. General Mark A. Milley, United States Army Chief of Staff. At this time, Colonel Turza will be presented with a Medical Service Corps 30 year medallion for his services from 1985 to 2017. He is also being presented the Medical Service Corps Chief Cone for Excellence and Professionalism. Colonel Turza will now be presented with a certificate of appreciation from the Chief Medical Service Corps Office of the Surgeon General. Colonel Turza, for 32 years of loyal and dedicated service to our nation, from the earliest assignment as a medical platoon leader, HAC Medical Battalion, Fort Trump, New York, to your final assignment as the Launchville Regional Medical Center Commander, your demonstrated leadership leave a distinguished legacy for all Army Medical Department officers to emulate. I salute you on your retirement and wish you the very best. Signed, Major General Patrick D. Sargent, the 18th Chief Medical Service Corps. Mrs. Laterza will now be presented a Certificate of Appreciation. The Department of the Army Certificate of Appreciation is awarded to Christy Laterza on the occasion of the retirement of her husband from active status with the United States Army. Mrs. Laturza has earned grateful appreciation from her unselfish, faithful, and devoted service. Her unfailing support and understanding helped to make possible her husband's lasting contribution to the nation. Signed, General Mark A. Milley, United States Army Chief of Staff. Thank you, Mrs. Laturza, for your years of dedicated service. Now, Mrs. Laturza will place the lapel pin on Colonel Laturza's uniform as an outward sign of his status as a retiree. I'm going to tell you that life, life goes by fast. So if you don't identify your family early, keep them with you and leave with them. Um, you're probably going to miss something. You're my family. I want to thank you for coming to my retirement ceremony, sharing it with me, and sharing my career with me. Um, you know, lots of things I regret. Um, no, I, I don't regret anything. Even the things I decided not to do that people said would get you ahead. The things I decided not to do that would get me ahead would have affected my family in a negative way. And I didn't want to do that. Finishing on top here at Long School is where I wanted to finish. Whether or not that was in my plan or not, it was in God's plan. Thank you, Chaplain. And uh, thanks for sharing it with me. Thank you. Through both the enlisted and officer ranks, 
so will the U.S. flag. Please direct your attention to the rear of the chapel. For more than 200 years, the American flag has been a symbol of our nation's unity, as well as a source of pride and inspiration for millions of citizens. Born on June 14, 1777, the Second Continental Congress determined that the flag of the United States be 13 stripes, alternating between seven red and six white, and that the Union be 13 stars, white in a blue field representing a new constellation. Between 1777 and 1960, the shape and design of the flag evolved into the flag presented before you today. The 13 horizontal stripes represent the original 13 colonies, while the stars represent the 50 states of the Union. The colors of the flag are symbolic as well. Red symbolizes hardiness and valor. White signifies purity and innocence. And blue represents vigilance, perseverance, and justice. Traditionally, a symbol of liberty, the American flag has carried the message of freedom and inspired Americans both at home and abroad. In 1814, Francis Scott Key was so moved at seeing the stars and stripes waving after the British shelling of Baltimore's Fort McHenry that he wrote the words to the Star Spangled Banner. In 1892, the flag inspired Francis Bellamy to write the Pledge of Allegiance, our most famous flag salute and patriotic oath. In July 1969, the American flag was flown in space when Neil Armstrong planted it on the surface of the moon. Today, it flies in the heart of every soldier who serves our great nation. The sun never sets on our U.S. Army, nor on the flag we so proudly cherish. Since 1776, no generation of Americans has been spared the responsibility of defending freedom. Today's soldiers remain committed to preserving the freedom that others won for us for generations to come. By displaying the flag and giving it a distinctive hold, we show respect to the flag and express our gratitude to those individuals who fought and continue to fight for freedom at home and abroad. Soldiers have proudly flown the flag in every major conflict on lands around the world. It is their responsibility, our responsibility, to continue to protect and preserve the rights privileges, and freedoms that we, as Americans, enjoy today. The United States flag represents who we are. It stands for the freedom we all share in the pride and patriotism we feel for our country. We cherish its legacy as a beacon of hope to one and all. Long may it wave. At this time, Colonel Turza is presented with the American flag on behalf of a grateful nation and the United States Army as a token of appreciation for his honorable and faithful service to the United States of America.